welcome to the Hunger Dames. Rawr. 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 <laughs> and, <laughs> and today we are going Jurassic Park themed, as you can Stop see. Stop looking. Don't look. <laughs> today we are going to be making chocolate pudding. Yeah, and it's going to have a little dino DNA in it. <laughs> in as the form in of dinosaur poo. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's like try triceratops poo. Yeah. Basically, you know. Well, you have to get in there and check it out and Put your gloves on, dig it in. God. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is our first step here? Okay, so our first step is to get our pan ready, and then you're gonna pour in the milk. So you're gonna want to start with a one and a half cups of milk and put a half a cup of milk aside because you're gonna mix the starch into that. Coconut milk, you want to use the full fat one. You don't want to use the light coconut milk. Oh, okay. It won't thicken and won't be as good. So if you're using normal yeah. milk, use whole milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Cool. And then we're going to put in our cocoa powder. Okay. One third of a cup. But we want to strain it out like so all the clumps go away. And then take your spoon and get the rest out. And then we're going to use a half a cup of sugar. Right. And now we're gonna go to the stove to start step two. So we're gonna heat up all the chocolate, milk, and yummy sugar. Turn the stove on. So, you know, pretty much full heat. So you always wanna constantly whisk this or else it could possibly burn on the bottom. So you're just gonna stand here doing this until it starts to simmer. All right, so now that this is done and simmered and all mixed up, you wanna take it and turn it off and then remove it from the heat. So you don't want it to burn. Okay, so for step three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our three egg yolks. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to separate them, then just buy an egg separator. <laughs> <laughs> don't right. make her mad. Don't make me mad, I'll turn into a dinosaur. Anyway, um, and then you put in your remaining half a cup of milk. Yes, it's not exactly a half a cup, but nice. Ooh, wow, that looks really yummy, huh? Yeah. And then you put in your four teaspoons of your starch. You can use tapioca starch or cornstarch. Okay, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. And of course, it's never done without the, you know, delicious vanilla. Bourbon vanilla, because mm. uh, that's how we roll. Yep, two, te yeah. two teaspoons of this. Yeah. You get a little extra. Ooh. Wow. And, then, and then you lick it. Oh yeah, drunk. And then you whisk it all up all until right. it's all like done and all the clumps are out. Okay, now we're on step four. We finished step three and we're gonna take our egg mixture and we're gonna pour it slowly into this already hot milk mixture. Don't turn the stove on yet though. Mix it well. All right, so that's just the thickening agent. So it's mixed in there nicely. So the next step is to turn it back on and you're gonna wanna bring it to a boil, but you wanna constantly mix it again. And the mixture's starting to thicken already. You can tell a little bit, see how it goes and runs off the stuff and then it's starting to boil so you do it fast and once it's at the boil turn it down to simmer and just keep mixing it for about two to three minutes and then it should be done and that's it and then once you're done with that you turn it everything off pour them into little bowls and stick them in the fridge or just one big bowl stick them in the fridge for up to four hours or overnight and just make sure these guys don't get it. Oh no, no, stop, stop, ah! All right, so while the pudding cools in the fridge, we are moving on to step five, and step five is making the adorable little grass area for it to sit on. To shit on. To shit on. <laughs> so, the first step here, I'll just move that aside for a second, is we're gonna put a couple of drops of green food coloring into the frosting. The whole thing in there. I know, right? How exciting. <laughs> so then we're gonna mix it all up and you really wanna mix it with the frosting and get a consistent green. So now that it's nice and green, we'll put that aside here. And we're gonna do the same thing with so the coconut shreds. So we're gonna use a fork, try to not get it on your hands. Yeah. Um, same or thing. Clothes. Just gonna kind of squirt it around. This is not mine. Hey, <laughs> just kidding. It's my shirt. 
and try to mix it if you can. <laughs> oh, we can do it. Shh. Don't pretend that we don't know what we're doing because <laughs> we know what we're doing. <laughs> so you just want to mix that up until it's completely green. All right, so now we'll put that aside, grab our graham crackers. So now we're gonna take our graham crackers and we're going to take a little bit of the green frosting here. Watch you do that. And you're just going to spread it on. Oh, I'll nice. show you down here. Yeah, make a nice layer. And this is going to act like an adhesive for your grass, basically. All right, so then the next step is you are going to take your grass here and you're going to carefully sprinkle it on top. There you go. Grass is like, come on, you know, it doesn't have to be super careful. Oh yeah. It's okay. grass. Has okay. to be perfect. So there you go. This is the kind of the finished result here. I'll kind of pick one up. You can see it's like a nice little dirt patch. And now we are going to move on to step six, which is putting the chocolate on top. Pooping the chocolate on top. Pooping dinosaur pooping. Yeah. We are gonna make the poop. Make the poop. So this is our finished product. Nice and uh, puddin'-y. So we're gonna put some in a bag, which we already did here, because we are too poor to buy those, you know, those fancy, fancy, fancy thingies. Things. Yeah. So and we're gonna cut the tip. Okay. So this is just a basic ziplock, yeah. and you're just gonna squeeze it, squeeze it around and make, it and make like a poop it. shape. There you go. Oh yeah. And then up for a nice tip. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> poop. It <laughs> really <laughs> does look like you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. So let's, uh, let's do one decorate more them all. You could do other shapes. A little, little swirly. <laughs> a little swirly. Yeah. Uh, depending on what sort of poop you want. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh the swirly looks good. It's like diarrhea. Do you oh want to try one? Sure. <laughs> so yeah, so there you go. Now you have your tasty dino poop on your little grass And thing. now, how does it actually taste? Uh, yeah. Should Let's we try, try it? it? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so bad. <laughs> I mean, bad isn't good. Our Batman. mouths are going to be green. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm, oh my was, gosh, that was really good. Even the stale graham crackers were great. <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> it um, was actually really good. Yeah. The chocolate and coconut, of course, pair well. And then the graham cracker gives it like a nice texture. Extra crunch. It's really good, actually. Mm. Mm. So there you go. I hope you enjoy. Let us know how yours turned out. Let us know if you did anything else fun, creative. Maybe you could put like little gummy worms in it too. Mm, yeah, as um. like extra <laughs> little texture for the poo. Yeah. Make sure. If you like what you see here, that you subscribe and check out our other videos here on Laugh Stash TV. We have fun nerdtastic videos, we have nerd stuff, nerd food, and of course, nerd walls. So thanks for watching and uh, have a mm -hmm. happy Jurassic Park screening. Yay! Yeah. They look like little Pop Tarts. That's so kind of cool. cute. And then so. we take the knives and, and then lick it. Um. <gasps> hey! I didn't get any. She got some. Oh, bye. Mm -hmm.